All right, got road coffee, got a couple of road bags. And we're actually going on, <gasps> wait for it, the road. Yes, I'm getting out of the basement of Dan O'Can headquarters and actually setting course for a road trip. Emily's coming along today. We're heading down the Lethbridge. We have no plan of attack. We don't know what we're going to do. We don't know what we're going to see. Well, we're going to see my family when we're down there. But in terms of what's along the road, no idea. But come along. Let's go. So Emily's just down walking Mabel to get some of the crazy, a.k.a crap out of her before we hit the road so I'm loading her stuff in I'm gonna go pick her up along the way Uh -huh. There we go. See, Emily does exist for all those who were asking. She's still here. <laughs> it's a skating rink out there. Just took the dog for a walk, almost bit it on the sidewalk. <laughs> so I'll give you a quick little bit of context on this trip. We are doing a real light travel on this road trip. Uh, Basically, no GPS, no drono can, no plan. I almost forgot to include an SD card in the camera we're traveling so light. We'll know by the end of the video whether or not that actually impacts the quality of the production. <laughs> so first stop on our trip here is just southwest of Calgary in Pritis, Alberta. Just a light snowfall falling right now. Uh, big fluffy flakes. It's warm enough that most of it is melting when it hits the highway. There's been a couple slippery spots, but nothing serious. And the forecast said that down in Lethbridge, the uh, snow, sorry, I had to look down. I almost slipped on some ice there. Uh, the forecast says that down in Lethbridge, there was not going to be any snow today. It was just going to be cloudy. So. We're counting on being able to drive out of this and not having it impact the quality of the roads at all. Let's take a look a little bit more around Pritis. So in my opinion, there's three buildings of note in Pritis. The first one that I'll point out here is the Pritis Community Hall, which as you can tell from the sign up above the doors, dates from 1900. Next up would be the St. James Anglican Church, which, especially in the winter here, is just always a beautiful little scene set amongst the trees. It's like something out of a Christmas card. And our third building is just over here across the parking lot. This is a former schoolhouse, again dating from the early 1900s. Oh, I thought this road went through. Uh, but it serves today as, or I shouldn't say for sure, because I haven't lived in Pritis for many years, but uh, it served as the town's post office and library and still appears to be in use today in some capacity. So getting off the highway, we'll take a little bit of the back road out of uh, town here as we work our way south. Like I said, the snow's not impacting the drive, so it's a nice day for a drive in the country. Just another quick little stop here along the Cowboy Trail south of Longview. Just getting out, getting a stretch. As you can tell, the uh, snow has quit. The sun is starting to break through. 
and I really wish I had brought my sunglasses, but in the spirit of the, you know, traveling light uh, road trip, I don't have those with me either, so there'll be a lot of squinting from here on in. Of course, this stop is not completely random. This is the turnoff to the Bar U National Historic Site, a location we visited prior to YouTube. But you can kind of get the idea why I stopped here if you look at the uh, thing over my shoulder. Much better view from the other side, of course. There he is, a very, I won't say famous, but a well-known site along Highway 22 in the Cowboy Trail, and that's the giant cowboy, I won't call him a statue because he's just a flat cutout, but the giant cowboy of Highway 22 here in southern Alberta. And just walking back to the car here, I discovered something. Looks like, frozen into the ground here, looks like a geocache. I don't remember finding this one before, but since I don't have the GPS, I don't know if I have or not. So I'll just uh, see if there's any identifying information inside. A little bit of, little bit of water. And a pencil, block of block of ice. <clears throat> Log book is a soggy mess. Someone last signed the log here, October of 2022 is the last one I can read. It's called Buy the Bar U Ranch Replacement. So I'm assuming I found it before, but I'll make a note of it and uh, check when I get home to see if I need to log it again, or if I, should, if I need to log it for the first time, I should say. And there's a travel bug in here. So I'll grab that and carry it home with us and let it defrost a little bit because it's got some ice on it, but time to get back on the road. There's chain lakes, all frozen, but the site of some past canoeing adventures. Somebody out ice fishing. And we're going to jump off the cowboy trail here shortly and head cross country over towards Nanton and pick up some different roads from there. side an ever increasingly rare site classic prairie grain elevators welcome to authentic alberta so says the sign as we make a roadside stop here i guess this would be a great time to say hey you should check out our video about the nanton water tap i'll try to remember to put a card up for you So a little good news and a little bad news. The good news, my sunglasses were already in the car, so I have those. The bad news is, in the spirit of the traveling light road trip, I pulled out road trip bag to see what kind of snacks we have, because kind of getting hungry. And I heard this rattling, and I was like, oh, excellent. Dog food. And you know you're getting hungry when you look at the dog food and actually think, should I... But anyway, the reason we just don't stop here since we're in Nanton and grab some Dairy Queen or Subway or any of our other uh, traditional road trip things is we're trying to do a personal challenge of not eating out through the entire month of March. And we're so close now, less than a week to go, but uh, 
Man, it's it's hard when you're on a road trip because that's one of our favorite parts is stopping to eat a lot of the uh, fast food we don't normally otherwise have. Granum, I always love this old garage. Some ghost signs on it. In the town office. Nice brick building. Tried not to get the car dirty, but I did. A couple more brick buildings here. At least one of them still in use. Get another shot here going the other direction. The ghost sign on this garage is really nice. It's a former SO sign. So that was just our quick drive down uh, Main Street of Granham. It's time for us to uh, hot foot it down to Lethbridge. Not much between here and there, and I'm getting hungry. So we'll uh, probably pick up the rest of this at a future point. But for now, it's just some more windshield time that I will spare you. So we're on day two, we're working our way home. We're just taking a little detour here through Kirkcaldy, Alberta to check out the Kirkcaldy General Store. Probably one of the more photographed uh, abandoned buildings in the province, Mallory and Carnegie. going to wrap it up for this one in the spirit of the no plan traveling light road trip I didn't actually bring a charger so I'm just about out of uh, battery on the uh, camera here so anything you want to add it's always nice to get out for a drive that sums it up well all right we'll see you in the next video